In this video segment, we will cover technique issues commonly experienced during the military press. The term military press is used to describe a standing overhead barbell press. The closed kinetic chain stance with closed circuit loading places notable demands on central stability, total muscle recruitment, and allows for heavy loading to expedite hypertrophy or strength gains. Personal trainers must recognize that overhead pressing can be taxing on the shoulder complex as well as joint segments of the lower spine if not performed correctly. On that note, let's take a look at a few common errors which place the working joints in biomechanically compromised positions or negate proper muscle activation. First, the military press should not be performed behind the head, regardless of the exerciser's intent. This places greater stresses on the rotator cuff and increases the risk for injury as well as shoulder impingement. Another very common issue is backwards leaning with thoracic extension. This commonly occurs when the client is using excessive weight or is unfamiliar with proper form. Excessive anterior pelvic tilting can also be an issue. The hips and trunk should be aligned to enhance central stability while the back is kept flat to ensure a neutral spine. Many exercisers incorrectly flex the hips and arch the back to create faulty but effective stability. Furthermore, pressing out in front of the body, rather than directly vertical, is also considered incorrect. This is often due to tissue tightness, such as in the internal rotators or lats, or postural distortions, such as the upper cross syndrome. Finally, improper grip positioning on the bar can alter biomechanical efficiency during the lift. A grip should be used so that the client's wrists begin directly over their elbows, and when they press overhead, their wrists should be over their shoulders. The elbows should not be abducted or adducted as seen here to limit the risk for muscle or connective tissue strain and inefficient force transfer.